This is solving equations part two, and this is example number four. Twelve P minus brackets five plus seven P close brackets equals three brackets 4p minus 1 close brackets minus 4p so just like before we're going to remove the brackets and then solve for p now on this side it's pretty straightforward we've got three sitting outside the bracket which means we're going to multiply this bracket by 3. On this side we have a minus sign outside the brackets. Now what that means, if you think back uh, when we are doing algebra before, if you had something like minus x, what that means is minus 1x and the same thing applies here. What this actually means is minus 1 times this bracket and that's what we're going to do. So we'll write down 12p again at the start. Minus 1 times 5 is minus 5. Minus 1 times plus 7p is minus 7p. And that's equal to 3 times this bracket. So 3 times 4p is 12p and 3 times minus 1 is minus 3 and we still have our minus 4p on the end. First thing we're going to do on the next line is simplify where we can. So we have 12p and minus 7p on this side. That gives us 5p and we still have our minus 5. And on this side, the like terms are 12p and minus 4p, which is 8p. And we still have our minus 3. Now, remembering letters to the left and numbers to the right, and change side, we change sign. So looking along the line, we see what needs to move. Minus 5 is a number. It should be on the right-hand side. And on this side we have 8p, which is a letter, which should be on the left-hand side. So first of all, writing down the things that are staying where they are. 5p is staying where it is, and minus 3 is staying on this side. Minus 5, first of all, if we change side, it becomes plus 5. And 8p... It doesn't appear to have a sign, so we know it means that it's positive. Change side, it becomes minus 8p. So we have 5p minus 8p equals minus 3 plus 5. 5p minus 8p is minus 3p. And minus 3 plus 5 is 2. I want P on its own, so P equals, I'll put the 2 down again, minus 3 is times in the P, so it's going to divide on this side. Now we have P equals 2 divided by minus 3. Now you might be concerned about the minus sign on the bottom, don't worry. If you think about it, what we have here is a positive number divided by a negative number. So we know our answer P is negative. And 2 divided by 3, we're not going to work it out, we're just going to leave it as a fraction. So it's minus 2 thirds. Okay, these things are just the same. The minus sign in the bottom needn't concern you. And that's our final answer.